day all and welcome to our first instalment of our uh, coaching webpage. Today I've got Australian Southern Stars player Meg Lanning joining us. Uh, Meg's just returned back. Well, welcome Meg, firstly. Thanks Tom, thanks for uh, Meg's just returned back from a successful tour of India with the Southern Stars. Um, what was the result over there, Meg? Yeah, we had a reasonably successful tour. Um, we ended up winning 7-1, I think, so um, yeah. Sorry, 7-1, that's convincing, very convincing. Um, and yourself, how did you perform? I believe quite well. Yeah, I did all right. Um, I was disappointed with my New Zealand tour, so I was happy to, to get a few runs over in India and um, help the team to a, a serious win. Well done. Meg's been quite modest. Um, played about 30 games now for Australia in um, one day as and in 2020s uh, and has a very good average of 40 in one day cricket. And you made 100 over in India in one of the one days? Yeah, that's right. I was um, quite happy to get the opportunity to bat at number three and I was really happy also to, to take the opportunity that I got and um, score some runs, which I was really happy with. Well done, Meg. Fantastic. Now, today, Meg, we're, we're talking more, I guess, um, on your experiences as a, as a player and what um, you see in terms of good coaching and best practice coaching. Um, so I've got a couple of questions that we'll work through um, and it'd be great to get your insights as to some of the different coaches you've worked with and what their influence has been on your career. Um, so to start off with, what um, from your perspective are some of the most important attributes of a successful coach? I think somebody that can bring the group together and um, can work with different individuals. Obviously different people work in different ways and I think someone who can accommodate all the different needs of the individuals is important and I think um, also someone who can adapt and, and use their skills in, in different areas. Obviously cricket has got different areas. So someone who can um, is able to, um, I suppose, coach the players in all those three areas. Excellent. Very good. Um, now, Meg, obviously uh, you're a Victorian, you work here with the Vic Spirit team um, and you've just come off a, a great season with the Vic Spirit, winning the um, One Day and T20 Player of the Year. Um, so what, maybe in your um, a normal Vic Spirit training session, do you want to run us through what that might look like and, and then maybe what an Australian session might look like? Yeah, generally with the Vic Spirit we do one big net session with the whole group. Um, so we're, we're able to get a number of nets which allows us to do that. Um, so we, as, as an, all, an all-rounder I suppose I do both. Um, and then at the end of the net session we head out and do a, a half an hour fielding session, group fielding session. Um, within the net session we've got Dool up our batting coach and you can sometimes do individual work with him for about 20 minutes or so. So you just work on individual parts of your game. Um, with Aussie it's a little bit different. We, we sort of split into groups. So Sometimes two or three groups and one group does a net session the other group does fielding um, and not so much individual work there I suppose you do that at your state level um, so Aussie training is more so about just getting the group ready for, for series. Okay and do you do much uh, centre wicket work? I know sometimes you have camps up in Brisbane um, and they've got the facilities up there to do centre wicket work or game scenarios does that happen much at that level or do you, are you mainly in nets? Uh, definitely in the pre-season we do, um, more scenario work and centre wicket. Um, it's sort of hard because sometimes not everyone gets, gets the, the practice that they need in centre wicket, so um, that's something that the coaches have to work through. But um, definitely in pre-season I think it's important to just get back into match situations with some centre wicket scenarios. Yep, very good. Um, I guess further to that, how much um, at, at the top level of the game do coaches talk about... Um, technique versus I guess tactics and the mental side of the game? Yeah I suppose um, at spirit level it's more about the technique and I suppose coming through um, the ranks and, and that's where you spend most of your time so that's where you, you more so learn your technique and work on different parts of your game and when you get to the Australian level it's, it's just more about match preparation and um, sometimes in the, in the pre-season we have camps in Brisbane where we can work with the, the coaches up there. I think they've got really a number of great coaches up there that we can work with um, to improve our games. But especially on Australian tours, we, we work pretty hard on the tactical side of the game and, and our game plans and things like that. Very good. Now, you've just got back from a, a long tour, um, three weeks away in India. What is there any um, techniques that the coaches have used to... Um, keep the girls up, make it fun, enjoyable, something a little bit out of the box to keep a, a long tour enjoyable? 
Yeah, especially over in India, we did a few more um, activity sort of things. Um, usually in tours in Australia, we don't get much time to do that. But um, when we were over in India, we sort of got into the culture and, and went and visited certain places in India that were, I suppose, famous over there. So that was a, a little bit of a chance for us to, to get away and, and do something other than cricket, because usually when we're on tour, it's all about cricket. So it was, India was quite an enjoyable time. Excellent. Um, now, Meg, just finally, as we wrap up, What's the best coaching advice you've ever received? I would say that um, seeing as you've got so many different coaches coming up, you get a number of pieces of advice. And someone once told me to, you can listen to all the advice, but you've got to choose what works for you. So um, I've sort of taken that with me, obviously, with the different coaches I've had. Um, different people tell you different things. So um, I guess in the end, I'm the one that has to go out and play the game and, and take those things um, into, into match practice. So just picking what works for you and going with that. Excellent, very good advice. Um, Meg, thanks very much for joining us. Um, it's been great to chat with you and I'm sure the coaches in the East Asia Pacific region will benefit um, a lot from your words of wisdom today uh, and good luck for your future career. Thanks Tom.